Fantasy of Flight is an aviation-related attraction in Polk City, Florida, United States that takes visitors back to the pioneering days of early flight, World War I, World War II and beyond. The attraction opened in November 1995, and houses the world's largest private aircraft collection on display. It became the new home for much of owner Kermit Weeks' collection of aircraft that were previously housed at the Weeks Air Museum in Tamiami, Florida and were damaged to varying degrees by Hurricane Andrew in 1992. On April 6, 2014, the attraction was closed to the public, though is still being maintained and is available for private events. On January 30, 2015, Fantasy of Flight opened a scaled-down museum attraction to display some of their aircraft to the public in the interim while the rest of the facility is upgraded and planned to reopen sometime between 2017 and 2020. Fantasy of Flight was the only attraction in the world to offer daily aerial demonstrations weather permitting of aircraft in its collection. Most of Weeks aircraft are airworthy and may still be seen flying from one of the facility's grass runways or its seaplane runway. Fantasy of Flight fields more airworthy aircraft than the Air Forces of Austria, Cuba, Denmark, Kuwait, Portugal or South Africa. It also fields more airworthy fixed-wing aircraft than either the Royal Navy or the Indian Navy. Topic. Facility The facility features a main building consisting of two large hangars called North and South for the aircraft on display, restoration shops, the immersion environments, a gift shop and the Art Deco themed Compass Rose Diner. Just outside the main building across from the entrance is the facility's new ropes course and zip line attraction known as Wing Walk Air. Outside the hangars there is an adjoining tarmac and two grass runways. On the north side of the runways are a maintenance hangar and conference facility. A back lot to the south of the main complex contains warehouses, storage and restoration facilities. More storage facilities are located across Broadway Boulevard and are open to the public as part of the tour. Lake Agnes is also on the property to allow for seaplane operations, with a designated landing, takeoff area on 1836 and a ramp to taxiway on the eastern shore. Topic. Aircraft operations The airfield is officially known as the Orlampa Inc. Airport and uses the airport identifier FA08. The field sits at an estimated elevation of 129 feet. 42 meters. It is designated as private use only and special permission is needed to land there. The field is generally closed to all non-company traffic. The airfield consists of two turf runways, runway 420 seconds, 5090 by 125 feet, 1551 by 38 meters, and runway 1430 seconds, 2500 by 100 feet, 762 by 30 meters. The airfield appears as Orlampa on the Jacksonville sectional chart. The name Orlampa was originated by Kermit Weeks based on the airfield being approximately midway between the cities of Orlando and Tampa. Waldo Wright's Flying Service offers airplane rides for sale from the Fantasy of Flight Field during parts of the year and operates a Boeing PT-17 Stearman and a new standard D-25. The Boeing Stearman is used for 30-minute long hands-on experience flights, in which the customer takes control of the aircraft at some point during the flight. 
The new standard D-25 is used for 15-minute barnstorming flights, in which up to four customers sit in the forward open cockpit of the aircraft as a qualified pilot flies the aircraft. Collection The Fantasy of Flight collection contains the following aircraft, although the aircraft are not always present at the museum. Some are on loan to other facilities, others may be flown to events, still others may be off display for maintenance or restoration. Most of the collection is contained in the north and south hangars which are now closed to the public, with a smaller portion now on display at the interim museum attraction housed in the old maintenance hangar. In 2012, the ''Golden Hill'' storage facility attraction opened just across the road from the main facility. A number of aircraft have been relocated into this new building, notably the B-23 Dragon and the B-29 Superfortress nose section, while the buildings were rearranged in order to allow visitor access, but this section was part of the main facility closure in 2014. Aerostar Balloon, N69FF Airco DH.4 on display as U.S. mail plane Albatross DVA reproduction original Mercedes 6 CYL 200 horsepower engine built by Peter Jackson's aviation shop the Vintage Aviator Limited Antonov and 2N4301U Avro Cadet N643AV this is one of 11 remaining Australian cadets and one of only 4 which are still flying Avro Lancaster, KB-976 stored in a number of shipping boxes behind the museum's workshop. Nose was guillotined from the main body after a hangar collapse at Woodford Aerodrome in 1987. KB-976 made the last official RCAF flight of this type with Flight Lieutenant Lynn Garrison as captain and FLTLT Ralph Langerman as co-pilot during an air show in Calgary, Alberta July 4, 1964. Bacham Bar 349 Natter, reproduction. Barber. Valkyrie, reproduction. Beechcraft Model 17 Staggerwing, N52962 on display at the Florida Air Museum at Lakeland Linda International Airport. Beechcraft at 11 Kansan, N92KC Bell P39 Aerocobra, under off-site restoration. Bell 47G Helicopter, N147DP, on display in M ASH 4077 paint scheme. Bell P63 King Cobra, N91448, formerly on loan to the Florida Air Museum. The plane was partially disassembled and returned to Fantasy of Flight on March 13, 2014. Benoist 14, full-size reproduction was built at Fantasy of Flight in an attempt to recreate the first scheduled airline service using a winged aircraft on the 100th anniversary of its first flight on January 1, 2014. Though the plane was completely assembled and taxi tested, the plane could not achieve the necessary speed to lift off and was not flown at the event. Boeing 100 under off-site restoration to flight status after being damaged by Hurricane Andrew at the former Weeks Air Museum. Boeing B-17G Flying Fortress, on display as USAAF Sir. No. 42-37994 tail number 237994. Piccadilly Princess. The B-17, Susie Q, is in storage. Boeing B-29 Superfortress, Boeing P-2B-1S, U.S. Navy variant of the B-29, USAAF Sir. 
No. 45-21787 and USN, USMC Bureau No. 84029, "...fertile myrtle", aircraft transferred from USAAF to USN. Restored cockpit and forward fuselage section on display along with other disassembled fuselage sections in storage at Fantasy of Flights. Golden Hill facility pending aircraft's restoration to airworthy at a date to be determined. Brown B-2 Racer, reproduction, original aircraft destroyed in crash in 1939. Bucker Bestman, N181BU, one of two remaining flying originals. Bucker Jungman, N41455 Bucker Jungmeister, N40BJ, on display in the colors of Romanian aerobatic pilot, Alexandru Papana. Vought F4U4 Corsair, on display as Bunno 97286, G5. Angel of Okinawa. Kak Boomerang, under restoration in Australia. Kak Wiraway. Sieva C-30A Autogiro Consolidated B-24J Liberator, N-94459 Joe can be seen on the tram tour in the maintenance hangar. A B-24 nose is on display in the Officers Club event facility adjacent to the north hangar. Consolidated PBY-5A Catalina, N96UC is on display on the tarmac. An additional PBY is in storage. Curtis JN4D Jenny, N2404 Curtis Headless Pusher, Reproduction Curtis TP40N Warhawk N923 the only factory built dual control TP40 flying in the world today Curtis Robin NC8313 Curtis Wright Jr N10967 Curtis Wright CW19N19RX delivered to Fantasy of Flight in March 2013 Made its first flight in 2014 and still undergoing testing. Curtis Wright CW22N888U was on display at one time in the main hangar but is currently in the Golden Hill facility. De Havilland Mosquito RS712 on long term loan to EAA Air Venture Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. De Havilland Vampire, in storage. Douglas B-23 Dragon, one of eight remaining in the world. In storage. Douglas C-47 Skytrain, N1944A Douglas A-24B Banshee, USAAF version of the USN, USMC Douglas SBD Dauntless, USAAF Sir. No. 42-54643 in storage EKWC-36 in storage Ferry Swordfish IV, in storage Fiesela Phi-156 Storch, N-156FS Fiesela Phi-103 V-1 Flying Bomb, reproduction Fock Wolf FW 44 Stieglitz, NX 44 FW, one of only 50 left in the world. Fokker D7, reproduction, under construction off site with original Mercedes engine. Fokker D8, N94100 reproduction, one of two built by Brian Coughlin in New York State, powered with a 160 horsepower GNOME monosupape rotary engine and formerly flown at Old Rhinebeck Aerodrome. Fokker Drive I triplane, N2009V, reproduction the last original example was destroyed in a bombing raid in WW2. Ford 5AT Trimotor, N9651 The City of Philadelphia, which appeared in the film Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. 
Gloucester Meteor MKIV, in storage Gibi Model Z, NR-77V, reproduction, original aircraft destroyed in crash in 1931. Gibi R-2 Super Sportster, NR-2101 reproduction, original aircraft destroyed in crash in 1933. Gibi Y Sportster, N3215M, reproduction Grumman F3F Flying Barrel, NX26KW, one of four remaining Grumman F6F3 Hellcat, in storage Grumman F7F Tigercat, N7626C, in storage Grumman F9F Panther, in storage Grumman FM2 Wildcat, N222FM, the FM2 is a Grumman design built under license by General Motors. Grumman G44 Widgeon, N404Q, on display at the Florida Air Museum at Lakeland Linda International Airport. Grumman J2F Duck, N1214N, a second duck is in storage awaiting restoration. Grumman TBM-3E Avenger, N9548Z Hawker Tempest II, N607LA, on display at the Florida Air Museum at Lakeland Linda International Airport. Hawker Tempest V. EJ693 Under restoration with Personal Plane Services Limited in the United Kingdom. Hiller Hornet, N125JC, the 13th of the 17 aircraft built and currently the only flyable example. Howard DGA-5, Ike, reproduction. Junkers Ju-52, GBFHG, formerly owned by Aces High Limited based at North Weald Airfield. Currently in storage. Kawasaki Ki-61 Heen, disassembled and awaiting long-term restoration. Currently in storage. Laird Super Solution, reproduction, the only flying example of this aircraft in the world. Lavichkin LA-11 in storage. Lockheed L1649A Starliner, N974R. Lockheed P-38L Lightning, USAAF Sir. No 44-26761 in storage as long-term restoration project. Lockheed Vega 5A, 5C, NC-105W, one of five remaining. Currently being restored off-site. Martin 4-0-4N40415 in outside storage. Possible restoration to working exhibit. Martin B-26 Marauder, N4297J, one of only six remaining, and the only airworthy example of the B-26 Marauder. Messerschmitt Bf-108 under restoration. Messerschmitt Bf-109 undergoing off-site restoration in Canada. Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 in storage Mitsubishi A6M0, in storage as long-term restoration project. Moran A1 one of four known. Moran, Brock monoplane Newport 17N1920 reproduction, appeared in the movie Flyboys. Nord Stamp at Vertongen SV.4N1606 North American AT6D Texan, N3931Y, on display in the colors of the women Air Force service pilots. North American B25J Mitchell, N1943J, on display as Apache Princess. North American P-51A Mustang, under off-site restoration to flight status. North American P-51C Mustang, N-1204 on display as USAAF Sir. No 42 103831 
Ena the Macon Bell of Tuskegee Airman pilot Lee Archer. North American P-51D Mustang, N-921 on display as USAAF Sir. No. 4511507. Kripes a mighty third. Piper L-4J Grasshopper, N-5798N, on display as tail number 54883. Pitcan PA-18 Autogiro Polycarpov P02 N50074 Republic P47 Thunderbolt in storage still in the original shipping crate Ryan NYP N211NX reproduction one of about a dozen replicas of the Spirit of St Louis of Charles Lindbergh Santos Dumont Demoiselle, N65269 Savoya Marchetti S56 Seversky P35A, N106 EP under restoration Short Sunderland Mk.5 N814 ML, the last airworthy Sunderland in the world Sikorsky S38 under off-site restoration to flight status Sikorsky S 39 NC 50V, aircraft is Spirit of Igor and painted in the giraffe pattern of original Spirit of Africa. Sikorsky S 43 purchased in early 2013 and currently visible as part of the restoration shop tour at Fantasy of Flight. Sikorsky S 55 N 111 VA Sopwith 7F.1 Snipe, reproduction original Bentley BR2, 230 horsepower rotary engine powered built by Peter Jackson's aviation shop, the Vintage Aviator Ltd. Sopwith Pup, reproduction Spirit of Peace Rosier balloon capsule, on display at the Florida Air Museum Standard E1 N491281 of two remaining in the world. Standard J1 N2825D, appeared in the films The Spirit of St. Louis and The Great Waldo Pepper. Stinson L1 Vigilant, N63230 returned to flight status in the summer of 2013. Stinson Trimota, North Carolina, 111701 of only two remaining. Supermarine Spitfire Mk 16 N476 TE, most originally restored Spitfire in the world. Thomas Moore Scout, N1071B, one of five remaining. Travel Air 4000 NC 174V, on display in U.S. mail markings. Tupolev 22 in storage. UTVA Aero 3 Icarus, N906H. Weeks Benoist, N1913B, reproduction under construction, scheduled to fly 2014. Weeks Dare Jaeger DIX, N30KW, owner Kermit Weeks' first self built aircraft. Weeks Solution S1WS, N300KW, owner Kermit Weeks' self designed and self built aerobatic aircraft currently in storage for restoration. Weeks Special S1W, N69KW, owner Kermit Weeks' first self-designed and self-built aerobatic aircraft based on Pitt Special. Westland Lysander, formerly on display at the Florida Air Museum at Lakeland Linda International Airport, the Lysander was disassembled and returned to Fantasy of Flight in March 2014. Topic: Immersion environments. The immersion environments are part of the main facility now closed to the public, but are available as part of the facilities which can be rented for events. Visitors walk through several immersion environments as they enter the attraction. 
From the lobby, guests walk into the interior of a World War II era Douglas C 47 Skytrain complete with lighting and sound effects as if the aircraft were conducting paratrooper operations. Guests pass a seated paratrooper in full kit and move forward toward the Jumpmaster figure standing at the open side hatch. Over the hatch blinks a red, ready light which switches to a green. Jump light as the guest approaches the hatch. Through the hatch is the entry to the attraction. Other immersion environments include a sensation of flight simulator, followed by a celebration of the early days of flight. Then, a passage covered by heavy shrapnel resistant curtains leads visitors into a full scale representation of the trench warfare of World War I, complete with aircraft overhead. It was, in part, due to the development of aerial warfare that trench fighting became obsolete. The final immersion display includes the collection's Boeing B 17 Flying Fortress housed in a large darkened room staged to appear as a winter evening at Raf Horam, home of the 95th Bombardment Group heavy during World War II. The full scale diorama, complete with ground vehicles, outbuildings, and landscaping, represents a maintenance area and one of the B 17's engine cowlings and propellers are removed to maintenance stands in front of the aircraft. Guests can enter the plane via the aft side hatch in the tail, walk through the bomb bay, visit the cockpit, and exit near the nose of the aircraft. Topic. Golden Hill Storage Facility For years Fantasy of Flight has maintained a storage building opposite the main property on the north side of Broadway Boulevard where aircraft awaiting restoration were stored. In late 2011, work began on a second building to double the storage space with the intention of spreading out the stored items a bit and opening the buildings to the public on a limited basis. Finally, in June 2011 preparations were sufficient to open one building for a special preview over the Father's Day holiday. The response to the limited, self-guided experience was overwhelmingly positive, and the building joined the attraction's public programming in the summer of 2012, with the second building scheduled to open shortly thereafter. The buildings are known by Fantasy of Flight as the Golden Hill. Facility as a tongue-in-cheek reference to the Paul E. Garber Preservation, Restoration, and Storage Facility of the National Air and Space Museum which is nicknamed, "...Silver Hill", by the NASM staff. Fantasy of flight guest access to the Golden Hill facility is via over-the-road trolley operated from the main parking lot in the mornings. Guests are allowed to explore the facility on their own with docents present to answer questions. The facility closes at midday due to the lack of comfortable air handling equipment in the steel buildings which can get hot in the Florida sun. N1944A In the summer of 2011, Kermit Weeks and a crew from Fantasy of Flight flew to Cotswold Airport in the United Kingdom to evaluate a Douglas C-47 Skytrain for possible purchase. The aircraft has a distinguished war record including sorties during the D-Day invasion and Operation Market Garden. At the end of July, Weeks went forward with the purchase. His crew conducted minor repairs and the plane, registration number N1944A, was flown back to the United States by Weeks and his crew. Due to weather delays on some legs of the trip, the journey took a total of 11 days and covered approximately 4,500 miles from Kemble, UK to Oshkosh, Wisconsin. 
Fans of the aircraft, Kermit Weeks or Fantasy of Flight were able to watch the trip documented daily on Fantasy of Flight's Facebook page as the crew sent back pictures and observations along the way. The aircraft arrived without incident on August 4, 2011 at Oshkosh. It was on display at the EAA AirVenture Museum for several months before being moved permanently to the campus of Fantasy of Flight in Polk City. On May 1, 2012, the C-47 was finally flown south to Fantasy of Flight, arriving on May 2 after an overnight stop in Douglas, Georgia. The aircraft is now on display at the attraction and open to guest walk-throughs. Topic: <laughs> Douglas DC-3 attraction sign. Standing along the side of Interstate 4 near the exit for Fantasy of Flight is a Douglas DC-3 painted with the attraction's name to get the attention of passers-by. The aircraft itself is not part of the collection and was, in fact, specifically purchased for its intended purpose as an attraction sign. The airframe is far too corroded to make restoration of the DC-3 feasible. The aircraft was displayed for a period of time in a crashed position, nose down in the ground with a mannequin hanging from the tail wheel, apparently a man evacuating the aircraft with a parachute. The mannequin was dressed up for certain occasions around the year, including Santa Claus for Christmas, Uncle Sam for Independence Day and a pilgrim for Thanksgiving. The aircraft in this crashed position received a mixture of criticism and compliments. Some people claimed that the display made the aircraft look bad and set a bad example to airline passengers without an aviation background, while others found the position of the aircraft comical and many enjoyed guessing what the mannequin would be dressed as next. Currently, the aircraft is in an upright position with the mannequin seated in the opened cockpit hatch on the left-hand side. The Compass Rose Diner Adjacent to the attraction's lobby is an Art Deco-themed restaurant called, The Compass Rose Diner which features the characteristics of diners associated with airports during the 1930s and early 1940s. The restaurant features tall windows, multi-hued terrazzo floors and the curved architectural lines associated with the Art Deco period. The diner was open to the public and served a short order menu similar to that of lunch counters popularized during the pre-World War II era. When the main facility was closed to the public in 2014, the diner was closed and much of its equipment sold off, though the space itself is still available as part of the venue's rental offerings. <laughs> Partial closing On March 4, 2014, Fantasy of Flight announced that they would close to the public after April 6, 2014 but continue to stage private events. They further announced that they would reopen to the public in late 2014 as a scaled-down museum, with reduced admission prices, while they simultaneously begin to design and build the main facility into more of a destination attraction that would appeal to a wider audience rather than just aviation aficionados. Ironically, the announcement that the facility would soon be closing its doors to the public has caused a significant upswell in visitors. Crowds have been so large that the facility has had to make use of its overflow parking area on multiple occasions since the announcement. As of 2017 the museum is open on Fridays, Saturdays and most Sundays. Topic Gallery Topic 
See also Plains of Fame Commemorative Air Force Battle of Britain Memorial Fight at RAF Coningsby, UK Shuttleworth Collection at Old Warden near Biggleswade in Bedfordshire, England Champlain Fighter Collection at the Seattle Museum of Flight formerly housed at Mesa, Arizona The Lone Star Flight Museum in Galveston, Texas The Yankee Air Museum in Ypsilanti, Michigan The Historic Aircraft Restoration Museum in St. Louis, Missouri Topic Notes Topic External Links Official Website